Welcome to Pat and Go. This is week three. We I can't got, believe we made it. We made it already. It's already <laughs> week three. Which is just yesterday we were so we were much week excitement. One hundred percent. So yeah. uh, I am your host, Paul Browning. I'm in the studio today with DJ um, Mike Lewis. Is not here. Uh, he has some business that he had to take care of. But he's he, here in spirit. He's here in spirit and is wishing <laughs> all of his well wishes to uh, all the viewers. Um, for those who are viewing on on YouTube, make sure to uh, make sure to like and subscribe to. KPPF 1040 AM, and also Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Make sure you're sharing our videos and just, you know, showing us all the love that you can. Um, and, then, you know, it's just a treat for everybody who's on YouTube. You guys are going to continue to see, um, you know, this visual treat. And support of, all of our sponsors you know, as well. Uh, yes, 100% percent support for our sponsors as well. Uh, but but other than that, I, I think it's time that we should jump right into high point. week three. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're moving into the high point. That was a heck of a game yeah. last night, man. So, so this past week, we've had to go with. Let's let's run it back. Okay. Um, jumping into the high point. Yeah. Let's go into just a quick summary of Thursday night. Oh, we had yes. Carolina. Yes. We had Houston. I guess my big takeaway there, I think Carolina is still a very good football team. I, I'm not completely sold. I think they're beating teams that they should beat, um, but I'm not completely sold on how good they are as a team. Their defense and the pass rush is amazing. Correct. But as soon as they lost Christian McCaffrey, uh, I mean, uh, that's 90% of their offense right there. Right. So, And then Sam Donald, he played a, he played a pretty good game, but um, you know there was also the, the, the two... Uh, fumbles that he had. Well, and the tight end running. Yeah, you yeah, know, so, <laughs> that was fun. So, uh, so I, I think Carolina is definitely a, a pretty good team. Uh, however, I, I just, you know, I, time will They're tell. They're finding ways them. to get things done, though. And you're they winning are. the games you need to win. You win the games you're supposed to win, that's that it. could put you in a playoff. So that's that's one thing that I, that I see with Carolina. Uh, but let's, let's kind of move back a little bit. Week two, we've got some game balls to give out. Yeah, we do. Did you have somebody in mind? <laughs> I have a couple. I have uh, Derek Henry. I, I believe that he deserves a game ball. Mm. And uh, that's uh, 35 rushes, 182 yards, mm. three touchdowns, mm. a, a few, you know, Catching ones, yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So okay, so so, and then for them to go to Seattle and get the win, That's I it. thought that was huge as well. He was two a, road games so far this yeah. year. Yeah, and Derrick Henry was a was a huge. Uh, he was a workhorse. Um, I've got a couple of. Uh, game balls I want to give out as well. Uh, well I got a couple more. Oh, you got a couple more? Go oh, ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I got to give one to my boy Derek Carr. Derek Carr. He, he's uh, got rid of all those stigmas. He He's leading the league in, in passing, passing yards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he got all kinds of touchdowns and finally finding a way to get things in the end zone, yeah. which it has been his biggest bugaboo since he came in the league. Yeah. It's only week two, though. So we got to continue to see him do it. Right. But I like what I'm seeing week uh, through week two. Progress. Yeah. Who else you got? I, I got one more, and it's for the uh, Carolina Panthers defense, not just Thursday, but uh, uh, going going in hard against the division rivals. Yeah, week. yeah, definitely. Okay, I just could be able to beat the, the Saints who are riding a really high wave. Surprised all of us. We all were wrong on the, on the pick there. <laughs> there uh, I've got a couple as well. Uh, big shout-out to Cooper Cup, uh, wide receiver for the Los Angeles Rams. He went nine catches, uh, I believe 163, two touchdowns. Uh, just absolutely a monster. Can any uh, corner cover him? <laughs> 100%. So his, in that win against the Colts, he was he was a madman. And then another guy I like, uh, uh, Tyler Lockett. They lost. Uh, but Tyler Lockett, these past two weeks, he went uh, four, four hundred, four receptions, one hundred yards, two touchdowns. Then he did eight receptions, one seventy-eight, uh, uh, four touchdowns, three hundred yards, and that's after two it, games. after two games. So yeah. I mean, and it's uh, he's been an absolute uh, baller. But then big, huge shout out and game balls going to Zach Moss um, and Aaron Jones. Just whenever players have to deal with um, losing a family member or playing. Uh, 
and you, you you're mourning somebody and just come out and still have a, have a good game. I think the um, biggest one that hurts me yeah. a, a, as far as that goes Brett Favre, is Brett Favre being against able to, the Raiders mm-hmm. just lighting things up. And I, I, what can you do? What can you say? You, you you have to applaud the guy. So that's 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 just where I'm at when it comes to giving those game balls out. I definitely want to show love to to uh, uh, to Zach Moss, running back Buffalo Bills, and Aaron Jones, uh, running back for for Green Bay Packers. He really steam like steamrolled. Uh, Detroit. So, Almost lost so, his necklace, though. He had to yeah. have the grounds crew mm-hmm. go find it. But, but so, uh, glad he was able to dig that up. So with, with that being said, what is a lesson that you've learned through week two? What, what, do, you, what do you got? Uh, well, I, I have three lessons that I came up with. Um, Teddy Two Gloves is uh, <laughs> is just putting it up there. I'm talking about uh, Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater, Bridgewater <laughs> there for the Broncos um, it, because he wears two gloves. Mm. Uh, it, it, he, he's he's just shown that he's just a humble guy, mm. and uh, he, he he took it all on himself, uh, missing that uh, catch. I, I I can't remember who. He, he was throwing to. Mm. He said, "He said, yes, I I should have gotten it to him just a little bit faster." Huh. And think about uh, uh, the Cor- Cortland was it Cortland Sutton? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. A, it yeah, was. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Okay. And he said, uh, two plays before that, if, if he had gotten it to Font yeah. a little bit quicker, then uh, th- that wouldn't have even been an issue. Yeah. So so him dropping the ball is all on him. Yeah, and it's, it's that leadership. That yes. I think it's something that's huge. What, what else you got? Uh, okay. Uh, my other lesson is uh, QBs, it seems like they're more prone to injury this year. Uh-huh. Uh, are they missing that uh, fourth uh, preseason, pre-season game? game. Is, yeah. that, is that now playing, playing a part? And I think that has a lot to do, I think, with some of the um, errors that we're seeing as well. Um, and it takes longer for an offensive line to gel. gel. Yes, so, 100%. Um, so I guess one of the um, the takeaways for me is the Raiders. They look pretty for real. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, we're only week two. I did have Don't want to jump lesson. to, you know. Oh, I, I, go ahead. Yeah, yeah you're definitely. Off, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Getting ahead of yourself. Yeah. Well, I, it, it kind of goes back to that whole preseason thing yeah. that I think the Buffalo Bills and the Green Bay Packers needed an extra preseason game. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. And... and it's just, you know, when you have a lot of your starters not playing, mm-hmm. that's just kind of what ends up happening, right? So I, I, I totally agree with that. Okay, now jump but, in. Yes. Now so, talk about my Raiders. So, so for me, I, I believe the Raiders have definitely been a, a team that has been able to um, sh- come out the gate pretty hot. And being able to get the W um, against Baltimore week one, uh, coming back, um, playing really well against Pittsburgh. who was in Pittsburgh. Ride, in Pittsburgh, who was riding a, a pretty high wave. Um, they look for real. Um, I think another takeaway for me is we got to watch out for Philly. I know they lost against the Niners, but they played a really good game against uh, the 49ers, and um, they were a couple plays away from actually doing something and, and oh, winning that, and, and really making uh, some plays in that game. And the NFC East is wide open, so that may be something that where Philly comes back around. We may hear back from them. Also, Arizona has so many weapons on the outside. <laughs> Kyler Murray throwing that ball. Both sides of but the ball, then, really. Yeah, well, the thing is just my thing is just as a receiver, seeing what they're doing with um, Hopkins, Christian Kirk. Uh, they got that 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 new rookie. Uh, that third rounder. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Adam Purdue. What's his uh, name? Uh, Rondell Moore. That's it. Uh, and then Max Williams at tight end. So they've got a lot of guys making plays. Uh, but... That's 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 who we want to give those game balls out to. That's our takeaway from uh, week two. Let's uh, let's let's get ready to get into to, to flag on a play. Yeah. But no, I I, I just want to uh, uh, make sure that once again uh, that's the end of our segment. And I would love uh, for you guys to stick around uh, just right after this short break. This is Pat. Go with Paul Brown. Don't forget to sign up on our YouTube channels, KPPF Radio, 1040 AM. Pat and Go with Paul Browning also has a channel. Got to get subscribed so we can go live. Come on, we know that. (laughs) 